死神はただ世界のために回る歯車であれば<笑>この木を逃す道理はない波動の96一刀加速おっ What's going on? Plugged in again. What's your boy, the prophet? Hey, yo. So today, man, we're back plugged in again for another Bleach Brave Soul Showcase. And today, it's going to be the homeboy, Soya Asha Zero. This has been one of the most anticipated characters, especially as far as the Safley campaign goes. He is one of the Kenpachis. He is very, very decked out as far as stats and skills go. But the main thing that everybody wants to know is how do his strong attacks hold up? He's a very great character. He has a really good story as well. Take a look at the art on the character. We're gonna take a look at the character, break him down. We're gonna show him off in Inheritance Trial as well as Inheritance Zone. Single player and c o p So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be with you to pop in. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Let's get it lit. Drop! All right, we are back plugged in again. So, today we're going to be taking a look at Soya Asha Zero. This character does come with complete status immunity, dodge hollow, and a r o n c a r damage 50%, which he does have both those killers. He does have counter attack, which is a new skill, strong attack damage 40%, and he does have havoc, frenzy, bombardment, debilitator, guard break, and he does have increased status ailment. Boost spiritual pressure plus 80%, which is the best skill in the game for damage magnification with strong attacks.、Um, we do have the standard gear on him as well, and、um, uh, he doesn't have a hidden enemies, so we do have to use a Zeta pill on him.、Uh, there are some underground enemies. There are also underground a r o n c a r s so sometimes that is a factor, but yeah, we're going to be going ahead and taking a look into Inheritance Trial. so Basically, the hardest content in the game. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And yeah, this is a one of five character, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look, see how he holds up. So, just taking a look already, his first strong attack, in my personal opinion, being a person that's about the data, that's about you know the output, his first strong attack is very, very lackluster. One of the worst first strong attacks possible. There are definitely some worse first strong attacks, but、uh, his first strong attack really doesn't leave anything, you know, it doesn't leave a lot of room for praise. The best thing about it is that it does, can potentially have more hits than a standard first, but you're literally giving up every bit of damage and consistency for your first strong attack, which is your most important strong attack. So I definitely say his second strong attack is. Definitely better than his first, but it's not a god tier strong attack either. So, in the strong attack department, definitely this character does not have the best strong attacks. As far as his stats and skills go, he does have some of the best stats and skills in the game. Now, he does have bombardment, which is amazing, but he does not have weakening. So, you know, having drain and, and burn is very, very good, but. You know, not having weakening isn't going to allow his bombardment to be some of the highest soul bomb DPS in the game. It's just not possible because weakening is a 50% debuff. So, that with weakened defense is incredibly insane. So, all in all, this still is a very, very top tier character just because, as you see, he's a one of five character and we're just blitzing inheritance trial. So, Of course, his stats and skills are going to edge him out where his strong attacks are pretty much letting him down.、Um, overall, he is still one of the best speed characters in the game, but we're going to go ahead and let the soul bomb go. <laughs> Let's get it lit. Drop! Oh, I don't know. 
All right, absolutely amazing soul bomb animation and damage. The only thing literally that I said that this kind of character would have lacked that he is lacking for his kid is weakening on that soul bomb to make him the best nuker in the game, basically. Um, so we did get a one minute and 50 second clear time, which is not too shabby for a one of five character in IT. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and slide on to co-op. Shout out to all the homies that were able to make the runs. But yeah, so this is a one of five character and we're hosting IT co-op. So, who is that? DK to just drop that? See, that? that's looking out right there. That just ensures that everybody alive is gonna stay alive for the maximum amount of time possible. So, um, some of the pros about this character, especially when dealing with high in-game content like inheritance trial is he does come equipped with complete status immunity which is without a doubt the best you know ailment thing that you can have in the game because unlike something like ailment reversal where you can still be affected by pools and puddles on the ground this character will never be afflicted by any ailment whatsoever so um, you definitely do have to you know respect that See, like I said, that Noel helped us out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we were able to just show showcase what she can do. So, the good part about taking some damage is that this character has drain, and we can showcase, you know, how often he's going to heal per drain. So, we did get, you know, damaged up pretty nicely. Well, there, we're at full health, and then we're damaged again. But, once again, that is the one of the, benef the best benefits of this character is that he will never be afflicted by a status element. Like... If we were weakened and then hit with that same attack, we probably would have died. But since he has complete status immunity, then he was not weakened, you know. So we just took the damage and then we heal back to full stamina the next room. So that is one of the things that I definitely like about the character. I believe he should have had double elements. I believe we should have had Weaken plus Drain, similar to 5th Danny Aizen, and he still wouldn't have been on the same tier of 5th Anniversary Aizen as far as his total damage output because of his strong attack. So, you know, sometimes K-Lab, they're afraid to push the envelope because they know just if it's Asha Zero, people are going to summon anyway. Well, I'm going to definitely be the first one to tell you guys, overall, this character is great as far as stats and skills-wise go. But his kit is lacking. And I'm sure anybody that plays this game for an extended amount of time, you understand that his kit is lacking. Is he still a fun character? Can he still clear the hardest content in the game? Well, absolutely he can. So, you know, um, that's just where we are as far as character development. Pretty much any character coming out, if you invest in them, they will be able to clear the hardest content. It's pretty much as simple as that. So. His soul bomb having bombardment does tremendously help this character compete for a top five spot for speed SP characters. So, you know, he does have some very stiff competition, but he does fit nicely in the niche because he's not the best at any one thing, but he does have double killers and a lot of upside as far as his stats and skills. All in all, on a scale of one to five, I would give this character about a four. You could say he's a three and a half because of his kit, but I think that a lot of the stuff he has does kind of outweigh that. Could he have been better? Absolutely. But does he still serve a pretty good purpose in the game? Absolutely. Is he going to make or break your account? Definitely not. Make sure you guys wait and let me know how you feel about this character. Until next time, Prophet Nation, I sincerely love y'all.